Welcome to the 13th episode of the Middleborough High School Construction Project video series. It's August 26th, and there's been a lot going on in the last five weeks since we spoke with you. A great deal of site development has taken place over the last month. More sidewalks have been installed, granite curbing around the parking areas and drives. Site lighting has been installed. All of the units are energy efficient LED. Security cameras have been installed in strategic locations throughout the site so that the school is able to monitor what's going on on the athletic fields and the driveways and all the approaches to the building. This is the student commons entrance outside the cafeteria. It'll give access for buses in the morning and the evening and to an outdoor eating area where students can congregate. This is the two-story student commons area. It encompasses the cafeteria on the first floor and the learning commons on the second floor. This area of the building is used for a laydown area for a lot of trades to store their materials as they go into the building. This is the exterior of the rotunda. The precast concrete base and lintels for the windows are in place. All of the exposed chipboard here will be covered with brick. This is the center of the rotunda, which is the center of uh, activity in the school. Everyone will pass through here several times during the day, and it features a lot of interesting architectural features. The ceiling grid and a lot of the drywall work has been completed. A lot of the brickwork around the perimeter has been installed. They are prepping now for the installation of a curved monumental staircase. And the floor in this area will be finished with terrazzo. This is what's known as an IDF closet. All the data and technology in the school runs through this type of room at each level. This is a first floor science classroom in the C Wing. Most of the cabinet work has been installed for the lab counters. Lots of special plumbing that's buried within there and the chemical resistant countertops will be delivered in November. This is a second floor building C collaboration space between classrooms. It acts as a hub for learning so that kids from various classrooms can get together and coordinate work. There are portable dehumidifiers located and running throughout the building. They help remove moisture from the atmosphere to facilitate the installation of various finishes.
This is the art rooms located on the third floor of Building C. And they're substantially complete. The window trim has been installed, the walls are painted, the ceiling grid is in, most of the lighting is installed, and the movable partition, which will separate this room into two spaces as needed, is ready to be installed. Uh, this is a really good view of the top of the coping that runs around the front of the building. It's a decorative, reinforced fiberglass product that's attached to light gauge metal framing. This is the digital imaging classroom, which will have a tremendous amount of technology in it. Everything's been wired for computer stations throughout the room. This is the entrance to the fine arts wing of the building. It'll provide a separate entrance for the auditorium and the performing arts. The lobby features a monumental stair that'll provide access to the second floor of the auditorium, as well as the TV studios and classrooms. This is the TV Pro Studio. This space is dedicated to the production of original material and videos for use by the school and the school system. This two-story space is going to be the band room. It is acoustically isolated from the rest of the building because next door on the first floor is a choir practice room and on the second floor is the TV Pro Studios. This will be one of the last spaces finished in the building. This is a view from the rear of the auditorium. The stage has been poured. The brick pilasters on each side have been bricked up. And a lot of the light gauge metal framing has been completed. The auditorium is planned to seat approximately 740 people. This is a view of the gymnasium from the weight room slash fitness room on the second floor. Since the last time we were here, they fine graded and placed the floor slab which goes underneath the maple floor.
The fitness and weight room can be divided into two separate spaces by an electrically driven mechanical partition. This is the locker area of the girls' locker room on the east side of the gymnasium. Most of the tile work is complete and they'll be installing lockers in the floor soon. This is the hallway between the gymnasium and the auditorium. It contains some translucent skylights. The walls will be lined with banners. The uh, school's Hall of Fame will be located here and it provides access to both the fine arts wing and the athletic facilities. Behind me is the concrete platform, which will uh, be a performance space outside the Black Box Theater. People will be able to stay on the quad and watch a performance here. There will be a decorative steel pergola above that, which will provide for lighting and uh, backdrop for shows. And uh, we could even show a movie on the side of the Black Box Theater, which will be finished out in white metal panels. Behind me is the promenade that leads out to the athletic complex. Recently, uh, the trees have been planted along it and street lights have been placed. And we're in the process of getting ready to seed the lawn between here and the complex. The landscaping contractor is in the process of planting trees and loaming the quad, which is a grassy area that's to the west of the school between the gymnasium and the sports complex. Thanks for joining us for this episode of the Middleborough High School Building Project video series. We'll see you in September.